push that five for you I do that three, four times again I testify for you I told I like you, that bitch I do it All that I'm around, you scared to do I'm not, as long as you joking Now it's for me, I ain't got it I've been skimming, looting I your body As long as you dreaming about me Ain't no problem I don't got nobody just with you right now But the truth, I look better under you I can lose Hey girl! What's up, Kay Bakes? Kay here. Welcome back to my channel. If you new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Sub girl, I can't even say the damn intro. <laughs> make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe. Check it. I'm like, girl, what's going on with you? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about all that. So, I think like last week. No, first of all, I've been hustling all year since the year started. Y'all know the whole thing. My mother, whatever. She's still in the hospital, girl. She's still in the hospital. Girl, this is FaceTime. This is a FaceTime vlog. I was working hard and I've been stressed out or whatever. I was like, girl, I need a, a vacation. And for the longest, for forever, I've been saying I needed my passport. So, I finally would get my passport, right? It came last month. Last week, yo, I literally just booked a ticket, uh, a flight to Mexico. Paid for the resort and everything. Guess who I'm going with? Nobody. <laughs> I'm crazy, girl. I'm crazy. Y'all know I moved out here to Atlanta by myself. And I be doing stuff by myself. Girl, I'm about to go to the country by myself for the first time. <laughs> I'm I'm dumb hype, yo. Yeah, by the way, I'm K-Shell. If you're new here, if this is the first time you've seen me. Oh my god, hi. Um, bags are picked. Period. Period. The flight is at 5 in the morning, but I need to be at the airport by like 3 a.m. I don't know what I'm gonna wear to the airport because I get there like 9 in the morning and check in out till 3. So I'm gonna probably be eating and drinking. So I need something that I can wear. When I get there, it don't be too hot, but it's cold here, and I don't want to be in the airport with like booty shorts and I look crazy. So it's like I gotta figure it out. I don't know. Like, all right. So look, the airport fit not really airport fitting, and that's for a reason. Let me tell you why. For one, it's freezing in ATL right now, but I cannot wear sweats, and I get there, and I'm hot. Then I can't be naked. Well, and I'm here and I'm cold. So I have this under it, and then I have these shorts that I can change into. I had on black sweatpants, but they was giving hot waters. And these are so comfy, y'all. Y'all probably like, ill, but these are so comfy. And then it's gonna be raining until 3 p.m. in Cancun. So, I don't know what to wear. Like, it's like I have to either be cold or I have to be hot. Like, really, this isn't that bad. I think I can freak this just to go to the airport. Like. And I might be blazing hot when I get there, but I'm like, I don't know. I'm really debating if I should take this off or not, but it's literally freezing cold outside right now, so. And I can't walk outside with no cold, but I can't bring no cold to Mexico, so I don't know what to do. Y'all literally would not believe this. I, <laughs> this morning was like the worst morning of all mornings, I promise you. I, when did it even start? First of all, everybody canceled on the last minute. I had to find a dog sitter last minute on an F car rover. So I dropped Chanel off. I had a panic attack because I'm like, who is this lady? Like, I just met this lady and I'm giving my dog to her. But, you know, she seems kind. She's been updating me the whole time. Um, that was like $200. So I go home. I get a shot, whatever. I prep and get, get in the car because somebody, like, was supposed to take me to the airport, but something happened. So now I got to drive myself. I stop at the gas station first. The girl, I get gas. Tell me why. I take the pump out the thing, and I guess I had locked my doors. The door is shut and it locked on me. It's 3 a.m. I'm at a gas station. Girl, I had to talk to somebody that was right there, and they called a locksmith, had to pay another $200 just to get my car. And when he opened it, it was literally an hour left. Mind you, the airport like 30 minutes away. And when I tell you, I was, girl, I was really like trying to get there. I get to the airport, and by the grace of God, I make it on time. Then I get to, I get here to, um, and I tell you where I was going, I'm going to Mexico, right? I get here to Mexico, and I'm already just like, all right, let me try to make my day better. So, it says, since I pay for an all-inclusive, I'm thinking that the shuttle to the, to the hotel was, like, covered, you know? It wasn't. So, I'm texting the, the hotel manager, and he's like, it's 180 Another $20. I said... The place is 30 minutes away. I'm sorry if y'all can't hear me. The ocean is literally right there. Let me shut that in. The hotel was 30 minutes from the airport. 180? <laughs> when I tell you, so I like kind of flipped out. I'm not gonna lie. I flipped out because I'm like, all right, this is, 
mind you, I had to pay for parking at the damn hotel. And me at the um air airport. So that was like one something. I spent ran randomly out of nowhere extra like almost six hundred dollars. Girl, I'm pissed. Then when I get there, y'all told me y'all it was one eighty to get to the the hotel. Girl, when I said I flipped out, I flipped. I tried to hold it. I didn't like cuss nobody out or nothing, but you could tell. I was just like, you know how you about to cry and it's like you holding. It. I was so like this day is just going terrible. Like, and then like I walked off or whatever, cause you know everybody trying to like bribe you, like buy a taxi, buy a taxi. They trying to get the most money out of you, and they kept coming to me and it was just so overwhelming. Like it was just too much. And I just walked away and one guy came to me, he was like, I'll give it to you for 85. And I was like, okay, like whatever, I'll take it. And I get in the car and no, I, I go to like where he wanna take me to get to get in the, um, the taxi. Girl, I turn around, I bald crying. Like I start crying, like I could not hold it in. I just start crying, cause it was like my day, today was just going so bad. Today just started so bad. Like I just start crying and like, I could hear the other guys like laughing and talking. And one guy came to me with the translator cause I could tell they don't speak English. And his translating was like, um, why, why is she crying? Um, she don't know nothing about prices. It had nothing to do with the money. It, and I, and I, when, I, when I told him, I was like, my day has just been terrible. Like all day, I just just been a bad day for me. Like it just didn't seem like they cared. So that made me cry even more because it just seemed like they was laughing at me. Like, <laughs> anyways, when I got to this hotel. I met the staff and they were so like they're amazing like I, I love them already like they literally they was making me drink out the drink food at the food I'm stuffed and he's like come back come back come back I'm tipping them this tipping them that like here take all my money but um yeah I asked the manager to bring um me some champagne and stuff like and then like set up massages and stuff girl like I'm I already spent so much money that I was not planning on spending but I'm like after we ball like we already out here but yeah that was my morning <laughs> So if you wonder what happened at the airport, literally I left the vlog camera in the car, y'all. And I'm literally so nervous because it's ATL. Like, if they see that camera in my front seat, they're gonna bust my windows. And then the locksmith gave me an extra key. My dumb self put it on the dashboard. So if somebody bust my windows, they can take my car too, girl. I swear, if I go back to Atlanta and I don't got a car. <laughs> I'm, listen, I, I can't I can't stress myself out. I paid way too much money to be here in Mexico. I'm gonna give y'all a price breakdown. I, to be honest, I feel like I didn't pay a lot, but now we just gonna have the best time we can possibly have. I'm gonna give y'all room tour before I, I get too messy in here because I'm already over the place. By the way, so if y'all are wondering how I'm, how I'm like talking to y'all, it's the big bulky camera. Like, can y'all see? It's this camera. This is my picture camera. This is the picture. This is the camera I take pictures on, but it's gonna be the vlog camera too for the for the for the trip. So, but yeah, I know I'm rambling. Room tour. Let's go. Okay, so this is the front door when you walk in. I literally hate this kitchen area, but this is like the little first kitchen area. I hate it, but when you walk in, it's super big, y'all. I actually just upgraded my room. So, this is like the little tub. I'm gonna get them to fill it with like roses and like bubble bath and stuff. This is the shower. I just got out of it, so it's a little steamy. That is a waterfall like shower so i think that's pretty cool that's that everything is glass so if you come with somebody it's no privacy um here is the double sinks is his and her sinks but of course it's just me and my huge camera i don't know why i still have this on here but you get it <laughs> um over here this is the walk-in closet it has like a safe and all of that good stuff my stuff is all over the place little body mirror Okay, then this room right here, it's just a toilet. I love that that is separate, you know. And then it's like not see-through, so that's great. So when you walk into here, you have the bed. Love the canopy. That is super cute. It's a rug on each side. Okay, with the little blue nightstands. Um, then you have like your little living room area, y'all. I don't know if this room is showing how big this room is. This room is huge. This is like a little sitting area. Area. I love like the little art pieces they have. Like look at the lamp. Like it's like the details for me, you know? Like y'all, that's the back of the room. Like the room is huge. But over here you have the TV across from the bed. Sorry if it's blurring up. This is not a vlog camera. This is a picture camera you have like another sitting area and then here 
love this area. I don't know what this is, but it's like the little mirror panels and then like a two, I was just sitting here when I was talking to y'all, so. But yeah, y'all, that's that. And then you come here, this is my patio. It has a whirlpool. Um, it is raining today. I didn't, I forgot to mention that to you guys. You can fill this up. It has rocks on the outside. And then like the little seating chairs. And then I upgraded to a ocean view. So I'm like at the top floor right now. That's the pool. I'm gonna be getting on the little boats. Maybe tomorrow, we'll see. But, yep, these are the views. I think it's really cute. Only thing is, this hotel is not like, like if you're looking for nighttime vibes and stuff, this is not the hotel. It's really just like calming vibes. You know, it's an adult only, so it's no kids. And yeah, but everybody's friendly though. If you're looking for somebody to just chill and vibe, that's a good hotel. But if you're looking for nightlife, this is probably not it for you. Yo, look at the front of the hotel. Like, I'm about to go back to the bar, y'all. I didn't even tell y'all. They gave me so many drinks, so many food, girl. I was so full, but I'm about to go back because it's all inclusive me. I love no. them already, y'all. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh, you can see it on this side. Come on, get in. Ven, ven, ven. video. <laughs> El video. Yes. Hola. Oh, yo me lo quiero traer. Yo quiero la cámara. Un video. Un video. Para el TikTok. Va. ¿Qué es eso? Una, dos, tres. Ya. Matador. This is Rafaelito. 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 Hola. Hola. Baby. <laughs> they got me taking my first shot of the day. Hey. Yay! It's party. Banquejo. Banquejo. Mira, ven. Banquejo. Repasado? Repasado. Okay. Okay, y'all. I took such a good nap. Like, I needed it so bad, y'all. It's like seven something i set the alarm for 7 30 but i wanted to wake up before eight i think the last restaurant closes well the only well it's two restaurants here i think it closes at 10 if i'm not sure but i'm like do i get pictures and stuff like girl i look i gotta fix my makeup like i literally had a dream when i woke i said where am i i'm not even gonna lie to y'all this trip was so last minute i literally just ordered like three outfits from freaking Sheen. But they're so cute, like it's so elegant y'all. I'm so upset I left my vlog camera, my tripod, my like, everything like, yeah, this trip was so last minute and then everything was just going wrong at the last second. But it's starting to look up a little bit. They said tonight it's Italian night, so so excited because I love Italian food. Ugh. And y'all, I did so much research on this hotel before I got here, so I feel like I knew my whole way around the whole resort, like, I just feel like I know everything. Like when he was telling me, I'm like, I know, I know. But I can't wait for tomorrow because today was so rainy and I still went and did my thing. Girl, when I say they was giving me shots back to back, I was lit, honey. Like, like I had to take my drinks to my room and I didn't even drink it, y'all. Like, I was so tired. Hold on. Six something right when the sun because I was gonna stay up until the sun rose because I wanted to get the view. Right at like 6:50, I took a nap and I'm just getting the back up. Like I just kept sneezing, sneezing, sneezing. Girl, I should have been up because I wanted to do pictures and stuff and then relax. I'm gonna post postpone some pictures tomorrow because girl, I'm I might crash up today. Like I need Jesus. But look at the view, girl. Then I'm gonna show y'all these little curtains come up. 
I'm trying to figure out how to work this whirlpool and how to fill it up, but this is just unreal right now. Let me take the camera out for you so you can get a good shot of you coming out. Okay, guys, everybody, you video? Right? is it on a video? Okay. I didn't put it. Wait, is it? Baby, so oh, like it is. Okay. Hola. Hola. Oh, Rafael, <laughs> you're getting into Rafaelita. it. Rafaelito. 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 All right, girl, you better hit it. Ready? Come on, baby. She getting that good shot. Look at her. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. Look at an hour. <laughs> Rafael, what are we doing now? Hola. Hola. Um, oh, shit. Okay, that presentation now. Okay. Welcome to the Mexico. Welcome to the house uh, of the sun. Uh, my name is Rafael. Uh, I wait. I just wait. <laughs> what is this one? Toma in Spanish? Tomato. No, tomate. Tomate. Salt <laughs> and pepper. I know one die. I know one baby. I want enjoy. I want chop life. I want buy moto. I want build house. I still want to know. Let me tell me. Where's it go? She want go. Oh, the baby. The girl. Ride the whip. I love you. Die for nothing. Where's it go? She want go. Oh, the baby. Ride the wind, I love you. Different things than happening, schemes and packaging in a one night boy. Y'all, I'm doing so bad at vlogging. It's, I'm gonna blame it on me not having my vlog camera, but I really spent a lot of time down there by the pool. I met so many people, so friendly. I think this is the first, cause yesterday was rainy, so today was sunny, so I met so many people. Um, I paid for like like extra treatment, so they gonna bring me champagne and roses tomorrow for my my bubble bath and stuff. So excited for that! And I met another lady, and she sprayed something in my mouth. It was like aromatherapy, I think. Um, but yeah, she's doing my massage tomorrow too, so I'm about to pay for that also. But I think this vacation is really just relaxing. It's not because I was thinking about doing excursions, and I'm like, I'll do another trip for excursions. Like I really just wanted to get away and just relax. Like water makes me so happy. Water makes me so calm. So I think that's like my main point for this trip. So yeah. They filled up my whirlpool, but it the sun is going down and it's starting to get really cold. So I don't want to get in there because that's cold water. I probably should do that in the morning. I'm gonna eventually get ready for dinner later, but I'm about to see what kind of pictures I got. You know, I took pictures by myself. But some people actually helped me take help me take pictures today, so I might got some. I don't know, but we're gonna see. Seen this girl at dinner and she asked me if I wanted to go out with her tonight. Mind you, she has a whole man. I'm out here by myself in Mexico. But I said yeah. So we about to see what this be like. Hopefully I don't get kidnapped, but uh fuck it, we go. Look at her. Look at the woman, man. Look at her. Huh. That ain't my, that ain't my, that ain't my girl. That's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drive with her. Catch me in the whip ride with her. 
Hey, sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with us. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in the household. Oh, damn, yeah, man. Oh, never knew, no, I never knew that you be a freak and a friend, too. Yeah, you into everything I'm into. Oh, I got some energy, that I could lend you. Oh, you into everything I'm into. Oh, I got some energy, that I could lend you. A piece of mind, baby, come and get a piece of mind. Yeah. Say you gotta work from three to nine. Oh, I get you home by a decent time. Wait, your bed, you can sleep in mine. Yeah, let's make it happen, girl. I need some time. Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we lock lips. I got the weed at the crib and the liquor too. I fuck your soul, I release in your spiritual. I be your muse, bring your easel and pencils too. Here you go, you try and tease with them pictures. You could ride on me just like you ride the elliptical. She said I'm tryna keep it tight for my nigga. Girl, I like your last nigga. All I need is mental, you know. I'm I'm a Yorkie. Yeah. Can I touch you? I don't want to touch you and invade your privacy. Can I touch you? Terrible, terrible vlogger here. But um, I paid for an upgraded service where they bring me rosas and champagne. Because I'm bougie, of course. That's why I have a dog named Chanel. And it was only $100 extra. So. I love that. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Like they really did their big one. Like I, y'all, it's my last day. I'm so sad. But I have a, a massage set up. I, I got a massage also set up in my room for I think 3 p.m. So I want to get ready for that. <laughs> Girl, I, this this whole vacation was so relaxed. Like I've been working so hard, especially with all the things going on with my mother, and then like it's so much stuff I can't tell y'all yet because it's like in the works. But I've been working so hard, and I really like booked this vacation to relax. So I'm been trying to stay on my phone, but at the same time I've been trying to get the content because I'm like, girl, I have to get. There's no way I can be in Mexico and not get content. I'm about to get ready for my massage though. So. Yeah. How can us lose and miss the moment? You just too important. Nobody's nobody like you do. I can't lose without it. Yo, is this a transparent moment? Like, I think I'm about to cry. Either I'm really drunk, or well, my, I think my period starts tomorrow. So. <laughs> That makes sense, but I'm so emotional, y'all. Like, uh, like if y'all know how hard I work, y'all, like, even like I think people see it on social media and they think that I just got it, but I work so hard to get where I am. Like, y'all don't even know. Like in Baltimore, I used to work two jobs. I was in school four times. Like, oh my God, I'm about to cry for real, like y'all. Uh, like even on my free time, I was making YouTube videos. I was like, I've always been a hustler. Like you know, why am I doing so much? <laughs> I'm really laughing because I'm like, girl, it's gonna be like, uh, and then like I'm out the country by myself, you know, and like <laughs> y'all don't laugh at me, but I'm like, so crazy. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is, like, you can do it, you know? Like, no matter where you come from, if you work hard and you believe in God, like, none of this would be possible if I didn't have God. Like, I talk to him every day, every day. And, like, I travel so much by myself, so, like, this wasn't 
like out of the norm for me. But I like I love this. Like right now, I'm looking at my balcony, <laughs> and like this is just a view. Like and like every day, like I just imagine. Like, Sometimes I just sit in my car, even in Baltimore, I would just sit in my car for hours in the parking lot and just dream of times like this. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm really sad. Like, I'm not sad, but I'm happy. Like, I'm so proud of myself. I'm just so proud of myself. Like, if I had, if I could talk to my old self, I wouldn't even believe this, but I deserve it. And I see so much more in my future. I see so much. My mother always told me I'm best for greatness, you know. And then like, yo, I feel so crazy for crying. <laughs> it's really the alcohol in my period that's coming. <laughs> and everything that happened last month with my mother being sick, like, I kind of like the taste of reality because it made me think like, maybe one day I won't have her. So I like, I've been cherishing her so much and lately she's been calling. She's still in the hospital, y'all. But she's so much better. And it's just, I'm just so grateful for life. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. And I'm gonna keep drinking. <laughs> like literally since I've been here, y'all, they keep giving me <laughs> margaritas. <laughs> margaritas and shots. I've been drunk the whole entire trip. <laughs> Let me get it together, y'all. Look at this view. Like that literally looks like like a wallpaper. You know what I'm saying? Like this doesn't even look real right now. Even though I'm so emotional right now, I do want to like tell y'all, especially like the younger girls, like anything's possible. You know? Um, I'm just in awe right now. Like, I'm just trying to soak it all in because I feel like this is going to be a memory soon. Like, I think this is my, well, I think this this is my last day. And people might look at this like, oh, it's just a trip. But for me, this is not just a trip. This is like a milestone for me. This means so much to me because of where I came from, you know? And some people, I know, I know some people think like I, like I think because I feel like I'm a chosen one. I've always felt like I was meant to be something bigger. Like when I was younger, I remember writing plays and making the people in the neighborhood audition for them and <laughs> having to bring their parents out to watch the plays. And then I remember making up dance group. I know y'all all probably did the same thing get everybody in the neighborhood and audition for a dance team. I don't even know who I thought I was. <laughs> people audition for a dance team. Then I thought I was a singer. I had people like come together. We was trying to like harmonize and do singing. Now I'm like, I realized I can't even sing. What was I doing back then? Like I've always been so creative and always, like I just always been for this, like, I always just knew that I was meant to be something more, always. When I used to work my jobs, and, and it's so funny because now I, I haven't worked a job in four years and that's crazy to me because I was always working a job. Like people that know me close, I was in a warehouse, y'all. Like I used to be under the machines, fixing machines, getting dirty, 10, 12 hour shifts. And I had two jobs on top of that and I was in school full time. And then outside of that, when I did get, it was like, I woke up, went to school, got out of school, went to one job. Once I got off that job, I went to the other job. And I was doing it every single day. And if I did have a day off, I was making YouTube videos and making content. Or I was, I, somehow I teach dance classes. And sometimes I'll be thinking like, I don't think I can dance that good. But I was teaching dance classes. Like I always just been doing stuff, you know? And then like when I moved to Atlanta, I just packed my car. Like I had an old beat down center. That's a whole nother story <laughs> for another day, but it was just so much like life was just getting so hard for me. Like it was just getting so hard. And I said I had a conversation with God and I, I I was like, I feel like it's my time to go. Like I don't have no attachments. Like it was just COVID. I lost both my jobs. 
I just graduated and got my diploma. I didn't have a boyfriend, I didn't have a kids, I didn't have no pets, I didn't have nothing. I'm like, you know, I literally packed my car and drove to Atlanta. No job set up, no apartment set up. By the way, do not do that. But if you do, I do have tips. I'll probably do a separate video on how to do that because I did prep a little bit, but I got there, I bought the Airbnb for 30 days, and I said, by the end of these 30 days, I'm gonna live here. But I said, if I don't, it's okay. I will go home, but I will come back and I will try again. And every single day in the Airbnb, it's almost documented on my YouTube channel. I was outside, I was networking. Every day I was meeting new people. And then I was given an opportunity to go to like um, a content house. And um, that was literally the last day, the last day of my Airbnb, I got accepted for an apartment. And that just changed my life. And I've been in Atlanta for four years, so. I'm just big on risk. Like I'm just like a person where though you cannot get far in life if you do not take risk. If you play life safe, you're always gonna be stagnant. Like you're never gonna get nowhere. You have you have to take risk. And when you take risk, you just gotta believe in God. Like I don't know if y'all believe in God. I know I keep throwing in y'all face, but I just love my God. <laughs> I trust God so much. And even when I came to Atlanta, everybody was like, "What? Like why? Like you're not scared? I'm never scared to do stuff." I don't have fear. I don't even stress. When things go bad, I'm like, like before this trip, like coming here when things go bad, I don't even think like, oh, why me? Why me? I don't even victim blame and do all of that. I'm like, I was saying like, I don't even get sad no more because like when things go bad, I just, or when I'm like worried or stressed or anxiety, I just put it in God's hands. Like I, I know that he, he handles everything. Like everything always work out and it might be hard right then and there, but once I get through it, I realized, I'm like, oh, this is what I was supposed to learn. This is the lesson I was supposed to, you know, to, to obtain. And I'm just blessed. Like, I'm so blessed, y'all. And I don't want to ramble y'all here, though. I don't even know how long this vlog's going to be. And the camera about to die, but, yeah. I'll try to vlog some more, but I love y'all. <laughs> I am getting ready for dinner. I didn't bring y'all with me yesterday, again. This camera is so fat, I hate bringing it outside of the room. So, again, this might be a terrible, terrible, terrible vlog. But, um, at least I'm vlogging, like. <laughs> ah. We're going to, my last outfit from Mexico is a nice red dress. Y'all, the ro them rose petals, I've been trying to get a picture in that tub for the longest. But you understand I'm by myself and the camera's so far away. I be having to literally get out the tub, push the, the button, get back in position, pose. Get, water is everywhere. <laughs> this is not going right. I'm going to try again when I get back. If I don't get it, I don't get it. But I really want the shot. So. <laughs> and the heels. I'm going to massage therapist and massage my nipples. Because I don't know. My massage therapist gave me the... My massage masseuse gave me this rosa. I love rosas. I'm never gonna say rose again. It's always rosas, rosas, rosas. Alright, um, y'all can't come with me, but I'm gonna go. So I am tired, honey. It's fun, almost, it's, it's 12.25. Um, yeah, I feel like the entire vlog was in this hotel room, but it wasn't. I just didn't bring my camera out the room when I went out the room. Uh, but this was so nice. When I was on the beach earlier, um, just looking at like the waves and stuff, it really sunk in. Like, I'm in a whole nother country by myself. Yeah, me, go me, go me. Go me, go me. I'm really bold. I'm thinking about doing Thailand next. Now that that's huge. It's either Antigua, Antigua. I don't I don't know the difference. Or 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 Thailand. Um, but yeah, I'm tired, y'all. I can't even really get y'all chit chat. Like, I'm. When I say I feel like I had more alcohol than I had water since I've been here, literally. 
I, like, I can't even tell if I'm drunk or I'm sober. I, I've been in this state of mind since I've been here. All inclusive. It, it's getting so bad, even with the food. It's getting so bad that I, like, I just be order. Like, I don't even order stuff. I just be going downstairs and they just bring me food. And I, and I just don't eat it no more. But I'm like, I feel like I have to eat it because I'm like, it's endless food. I don't know. Play. It is checkout, and honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I had fun, but I feel like that was just the right amount of days because, girl, I am tired. I'm ready to go see my little, my doodle baby, my Chanel. I miss my dog so bad. This is fun. pictures and I'm super picky when it comes to my pictures I'm looking at all of them and they're good but like my standard is so high when it comes to my photos I'm just like uh, I don't know I might post my might not I don't know this is where I was yesterday the jacuzzi was so nice I didn't even turn the jets on when I was in there but it was so nice y'all like look at the rooftop seriously I really wish that I would've went jet skiing, that's right there. But if I'm being completely honest, I just feel like I didn't wanna cram too much into this trip. Cause it's really only like four days, kinda like three days. And I just didn't wanna be super overwhelmed. So yeah, I really came here for relax more so than do a lot of activities. But the next trip, we outside. Thank you for your tips for me. Okay, girl, let's recap. I am home. Oh my god. It's like two days later. Well, girl, what the day is? It's been a lot of days later. Go ahead and hit that on It is the 24th. I got back on the 21st. So it's been like three days already, and I just ended my story, y'all. I literally only been there for four days, but I know it felt like I felt like a long time. Um, I didn't edit yet, I'm about to edit right now, but it's looking like I didn't really get a lot of footage of the night out, girl. I had a whole blast, like, and I just got back and I'm already looking at flights for the next place. Like, I, I'm literally crazy like that. Overall, it was a really good trip. I got emotional so many times, like, I literally just kept crying, like, I don't know. For me, trips like that, like, I'm saying trips like that, like, I've been out a lot, but that trip for me was not just a vacation like it was a milestone like it just showed me i came a long way you know what i'm saying like i worked really hard to get where i am so that trip was literally so much more to me than that so that meant a lot um <laughs> i definitely feel like i would do it again and i did mexico because i felt like mexico would be like a really easy place to go for the first time only because like i grew up a lot around a lot of like hispanics guatemalans um mexicans and stuff so i do know spanish it wasn't i haven't heard spanish in so long so like i was like i don't want to say struggling but i did have a kind i was like nervous to speak it at first because like i speak broken spanish but by the end of the trip girl like even now in the house i'm talking to my damn dog in spanish she don't even understand what i'm saying <laughs> like i think i'm whole hispanic i've been listening to nothing but spanish music this entire time since i've been back like i i done downloaded duolingo girl i really am here studying like i'm gonna I'm a really be fully bilingual by my birthday so i am planning the trip for my birthday though but i'm like do i want to go somewhere before that because i'm like that's three months away is that too long anyways what was i where was i going with this i don't remember my point here what was i trying to say well anyways i think we should just close this out so if you like this video and you want to see more solo traveling and stuff like that make sure you like home subscribe and support your girl i'm very excited for the rest of this year i have so much going on and i'm so bad at vlogging y'all y'all know this by now but i'm gonna try better 
Um, but yeah, make sure y'all follow me on all my social media platforms. Like my pictures, like my little videos and stuff, because I'm still posting by the time this go up. And yeah, until next time, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. You gotta do it with me. Come on, you gotta do. We gotta close it out. Okay, ready? We are out. Put your paw up there. Come on, close it. <laughs>